Hey guys, thanks for joining us today on Gather Now Network. My name is Amon with another video on Gather Now Network. But before we go far, I remind you to subscribe to Gather Now Network so that you don't get to miss any video that we upload. What you need to do is uh, subscribe on that red button and also uh, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever we upload a video. So, guys, today uh, we're going to climb mountain Moroto. I don't know when did you last climb a mountain, <laughs> but today in this video we're going to climb mountain Moroto, I and my friends, and also in this same video you're going to get to know about the history of mountain Moroto, but also you get to see how people live on top of the mountain, what do they eat, what houses do they live in, all in one video. So please get hooked on Gather Now Network. from up the mountain uh, to the mountain. This is where we started moving from. So it's creates the region around there and it's sloping and it's, it's creating waves. And this water is so clean. I don't know if these people take it when it's like this or the fire. Man, you. going to reach man I should tell you we are already here don't see me sweating and think it was an easy move but hey we've reached one of the mountains that and if, if you can at all see some of the people have already climbed I am also climbing <laughs> Guys, as I told you, we're climbing this mountain now, and we surprisingly <laughs> some young children living up here and their parents. As you see, these houses are where they stay. I will look through the house. And they stay on animals' care. So, for if you're sleeping on a mattress, they are out. Just know you're lucky. But up here, people are just having their own life, healthy, young, and free. All smiling. <laughs> so this is a typical house of a Japan castle. But if you visit a village in the lowlands, it is not like this. No. Yeah, the house is not like this. It's not raised. Yeah, it's just one single big house. Because uh, they, they, they put their homes like this because of uh, uh, the flow of water when it rains. Yeah. Some of them actually build their houses and they leave them on poles.
and you don't have to buy the lower floor. Yeah. If you come, come, if you can come and see this one. We have uh, uh, our tour guide who is taking us through all this, and I want him to tell us some <laughs> few history about Mountain Moroto. Hey, hello. Yeah, no. For the viewers, uh, of course, may I know it? Uh, for the I'm uh, called Lokutai Brian, mm. aka King. I'm uh, <laughs> born and raised in Moroto. Wow, so we have the right person to tell us about Mountain Moroto. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Moroto is actually a volcanic mountain mm -hmm. and uh, it has been in uh, existence for millions and millions of years. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's part of uh, the mountains that uh, you can see there is a chain of mountains uh, from right from uh, Elgon up to north on the eastern part of Uganda. Mm -hmm. So, it's among the chain of mountains that is on uh, that belt, mm -hmm. yeah, which occurred during eruptions uh, millions and millions of years okay. <laughs> so the people occupying mountain moroto mm -hmm. are called the tepet yeah i was going to ask you that because we've seen some people around us and uh, i was wondering how come they're here for me i thought if it's a mountain i don't expect to find anyone here <laughs> ah, actually wherever you go all around the world at least there are occupants mm -hmm. in every part of the the world, even the mountains. And this is a mountain, eh? Yes. You know, it's very, very tall, you know? Yeah, but there are people who adapt to living. Yeah. But if you can look even in the far, I'll far come end there. Come here, woman. She's, yeah. We have a lady on the camera. She can show us what Brian is talking about. Yeah. Yeah. If you can see over all there, yeah. there are people living mm. on the other side. Mm. Yeah. So there are occupants mm. on mountains, oh, yeah. no matter. Mm which part of the world you are in. Even if you go to Everest, mm. at least you'll find occupants living in the mountains somewhere. Okay. They're natives. Okay. Yeah. How, what do they eat around here? Yeah. Yeah, actually, people do cultivate. Yeah. They grow, they have gardens. Like where we came from down there, as we're moving, you saw some uh, dead stems mm. as we're coming up the mountain. Mm. Those were, were passing actually through people's uh, gardens or fields. Yeah. Okay, Brian, on, uh, let me say, like, in a week, how often do you bring people this side because man, it's so hectic, I'm very, very <laughs> tired. Eh? Uh, we come up here, not uh, often. Uh. Yeah, it can be once or twice a week or even no, mm. not even, uh, even in two weeks, not even somebody would come up here. But uh, nevertheless, mm. we do sometimes come up here for, for walks. For walks and uh, yeah. adventure. Yeah. So for guys, if you're watching the show right now, just take yourself out. Get to know your country. Very many people are here from different countries coming into your country to get to know better than you. Guys, just go out to a... <laughs> Surprisingly, a guy will come and ask you, Hey, do you know where Mountain Mountain is? <laughs> 